The Science Symposium offers an exciting opportunity for the students to present what they have learned through the research and a creative endeavor, which enables them to present their views on the given topic to larger audience. Respected Rector Father Augustine, Principal Father Dr. T.J. Dos S.J., Vice Principal Mrs. Shobha Miranda, Academics Coordinator Mr. A.K. Das, Coordinator Activities Mrs. K.C. Maya, Honorable Judges, Teachers and my dear friends, a heartwarming welcome to you all to the Annual Science Symposium. The topic for today is Hydrogen Fuel Alternate Source of Energy. Hydrogen can be produced from diverse domestic resources. Most hydrogen can also be produced through steam methane reforming, a high pressure process in which steam reacts with hydrocarbon fuel to produce hydrogen. Hydrogen like electricity is an energy carrier that must be produced from another substance. However, hydrogen is useful as an energy source or fuel because it has high energy content per unit of weight, which is why it is used as a rocket fuel and in fuel cell to produce electricity on some spacecraft. Let's begin by introducing our esteemed judges for the day. Our first judge for today is Mrs. Rashmi Sethi. Ma'am joined Xavier's in the year 1988 as a science teacher. She has been one of the most diligent and confident teachers of the Xavier's faculty. Ma'am is known for a meticulous nature, punctuality, clarity of work of a distribution, and also for her persuasive abilities. She has always been loved and respected by her students for her patience and approachable nature. It is a pleasure to have you here, ma'am. Our second judge for today is Mrs. Preeti Abraham. Mrs. Preeti Abraham is a postgraduate in cancer biology, currently working as science teacher at St. Xavier Senior Secondary School, having over 15 years of teaching experience at various schools in Delhi and Gujarat. She is passionate about teaching science and has organized science exhibitions in the school. Also, she conducts seminars to bring the awareness for prevention on cancer. Ma'am, we are blessed to have you here today. Now let us apprise the participants about the rules. Rule number one, the time limit for the presenter to present the PowerPoint and the speech is total of three minutes. Five marks will be deducted for every one minute after the allowed duration. Rule number two, each presenter will have to answer two interjection questions. To answer each interjection question, one minute will be allowed. Rule number three, no cross-questioning is allowed by the interjector. Rule number four, the decision of the judges is final and no queries regarding the final results will be entertained. Rule number five, in case of network or technical issues, the presenter will be allowed to complete the presentation in the end. Rule number six, presenters will be judged on the basis of content, PowerPoint presentation, and confidence of delivering the speech. The answers delivered during interjection. Rule number seven, interjectors will be judged on the basis of relevance of the question to the topic and delivery of the question. Now let's start the presentation. First of all, I would like to invite Arjit Mathur of 9A to share his presentation. Just a moment. Gia, yeah, just a moment. Nami, ma'am, there's a sun child who's trying to get into the class here again and again, and he's creating some problem. So let's log the meeting. That would be better. Uh, I'm sorry, pretty ma'am. Can you please repeat? There is some network issue. Yeah, here. there's yeah. some problem. There's some problem. Some child is trying to be, you know, is trying to smart and get into the class with different names of the same students who are there in the class. Okay, okay. I am locking the meeting. Nobody can join now. Uh, that's better, sir. Okay. Yeah. Nami, uh, ma'am, let's go with this. Uh, let's lock the meeting. So, uh, uh, in the back, can you please uh, check that there was one interjector who has not joined. If he or she has joined, then you can please lock the meeting. And same with Shobha, ma'am, if uh, the coordinators come. In that case, Nilotpal, uh -huh. sir? Ma'am, uh, that child not joined, Kathy. Okay. 
and Soba ma'am is not you there. Do do one thing, sir. Uh, waiting room. Uh -huh. mein hi. If there is uh -huh. anybody from the administration or teachers, you please allow them. Otherwise, if there is any student apart from that interjector, don't allow. Remove them. That okay. Is okay. That's okay. Fine. That will automatically solve the problem. I hope that is okay, pretty ma'am. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Jia, Mehen, please continue. Okay, ma'am. Now I would like to invite Arjit Mathur of 9A to share his presentation with us. Over to you, Arjit. Good morning, esteemed judges, respected teachers, and my friends. Privileged I am to start this science oh, in a very interesting topic, hydrogen, the fuel of the future. What is hydrogen fuel? Hydrogen is often hailed as the fuel of the future, one that will make Earth greener. Unlike natural gas or coal, hydrogen produces neither pollutants nor carbon dioxide when burned. Water is its only byproduct. It is free of the main drawback of other renewable energy sources, which is their high dependence on weather and terrain. A fuel cell, hydrogen fuel cell is two to three times more efficient than an internal combustion engine running on gasoline and is a major focus of fuel cell research and development. So now let's see how does hydrogen compare with other fuels. The amount of heat energy produced on the complete combustion of one kilogram of fuel is called its calorific value. Hydrogen has the highest calorific value amongst all known fuels. It causes much less pollution compared to petrol or diesel, even CNG. Though hydrogen is still costlier now, it is expected to come down as more and more companies start using hydrogen as fuel. So using hydrogen as fuel has many advantages. First and foremost, it provides a high density source of energy with good efficiency and not generating greenhouse emissions thus reducing pollution. Next, as you all know, hydrogen is uniquely abundant. It has the ability to create sustainable energy. Next, furthermore, hydrogen being three times more powerful than fossil fuels, it, it would have less requirement, thus lower cost. Most importantly, more less damage to human health, unlike nuclear energy or natural gas. Finally, faster refueling time than battery vehicles. While using hydrogen as fuel has many admirable advantages, it does pose certain challenges which we need to overcome. It is difficult to contain as the tanks are bulky. Hydrogen reacts with metal in tanks, causing them to become brittle. Also is explosive, so unsafe. Expensive fuel cells as platinum is used in making them. Production facilities are also expensive. To conclude, the main problem faced by our planetary bodies is unexpected and sudden climate change due to continuously increasing global energy demand, which is currently being met by fossil fuels. Hydrogen is one of the major energy solutions of the 21st century, capable of meeting the future energy needs. The world should not miss this unprecedented chance to make hydrogen a serious part of our life. Thank you. It is time for interjection. The first interjector is Kushagra Garwal from class 9F. Good morning, teachers and my fellow civilians. Today, I, Kushagra Garwal, wanted to ask a question. The process of using hydrogen fuel will very likely be made from natural gas through energy intensive and polluting method called the steam reforming process, which uses steam high thread and pressure to break down the methane into hydrogen and carbon dioxide. Don't you think producing hydrogen is an environmental hazard creating pollution? Hydrogen may be an environmental hazard in, by, when it is, is it's created by steam methane reforming or by gasification, but it can also be produced by electrolysis from water or by natural, by non-polluting resources such as windmills or turbines and tides. 
that that way it will not cause any pollution thank you for your answer archit the second interjector is samagya punani from class 9c good morning everyone my name is samagya and i wanted to ask archit a question that do you think hydrogen fuel cells are better than electric vehicles yes but this hydrogen also yes hydrogen is better than fuel cell as it can be refilled in only 5 minutes and they have a range of 600 kilometers without any refuel new refueling and it can it has to be refueled whereas a battery vehicle it will carry electricity Thank you, Arjit. Now I would like to invite Navya of Nine B to share a presentation with us. Over to you, Navya. Good morning, everyone. I'm Navya from Class Nine B. I'm here to lead you all to an alternative source of energy: hydrogen fuel. Hydrogen. Due to the increase in dependency in non-renewable energy resources, there has been an interest in using a more cleaner and more eco-friendly approach to consume energy. One of the methods in using clean energy is the utilization of hydrogen. Hydrogen is the fuel of the future, but we need to know how. Hydrogen is an energy carrier or fuel cell producing virtually no greenhouse gas emission when combusted with oxygen. it could also serve as a possible substitute for liquid and fossil fuels at standard temperature and pressure hydrogen is a non toxic non metallic odorless colorless and highly combustible diatomic gas speaking of its natural elements hydrogen hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe hydrogen is considered an alternative fuel due to its ability to power fuel cells in zero emission electric vehicles its potential for domestic production and the fuel cells potential for high efficiency hydrogen fuel also has several advantages for example a large volume of hydrogen can be easily stored in underground hydrogen storage or compressed hydrogen in tanks or through chemical methods that or through chemical compounds that release hydrogen after heat since hydrogen doesn't exist on earth as a gas it needs to be separated from other compounds two of the most common methods for the production of hydrogen are electrolysis or water splitting and steam reforming steam reforming is used in industries to separate hydrogen atoms from carbon atoms in methane since methane is a fossil fuel this process results in greenhouse gas emissions which then leads to global warming the other method electrolysis involves passing an electric current through water to separate hydrogen and oxygen the hydrogen collected and the hydrogen produced is extremely pure and results in no emissions since electricity from renewable energy sources can be used well hydrogen can be the best solution for the future of our energy requirements but this will require political will and investment to achieve however if hydrogen is implanted into people's daily lives and it are provides to be reliable the carbon emissions will reduce dramatically this can result in the repair repair of the ozone layer cleaner air and the well-being of our planet all in all a better place will be left for our future generation it is time for interjection the first interjector is anmol sharma from class 9c good morning all of you today i anmol sharma is going to represent my class 9c as an interjector so let's start with a basic but a tricky question we all know that hydrogen is an element that has very less density and we need a big tanker to store it so how can we store it in vehicles in terms of solving its leaking and other problems uh so prevent its leakage as we all know it has a very low ignition temperature and if it leaks then it will result in a very uh, big 
destruction so for uh, leakage uh, problem hydrogen leak testing is the normal way in which a hydrogen uh, pressure vessel or installation is checked for leaks or flows uh, this usually involves changing hydrogen hydrogen as a uh, tra tracer gas into the device undergoing testing and if any leakage or uh, leakage or anything is detected so it should be uh, done in a safe area where the hydrogen cannot accumulate and that is free for emission sources and at the end precautions uh, should be taken thank you okay thank you for your answer navya the second interjector is shruti shrivasa from class 9a I believe Shruti is not here. Uh, Mahesh, let's have the second interjector. Okay, the second interjector is Tanishka Rora from Class Nine B. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tanishka Arora, and I'm an interjector from Class Nine B. So, Navya, who's the presenter of Class Nine B, my question to you is. If we want to develop a large market for hydrogen transportation fuel, then what can be done? Uh, for uh, the refueling, uh, the hydrogen fueled vehicles is limited because people won't buy those vehicles if hydrogen refueling stations are not yet built. Yet. And everyone should be uh, aware of hydrogen because it is very good for our environment and uh, uh, the government should also take many steps to uh, spread awareness about hydrogen because if uh, they don't have uh, customers with hydrogen fuels vehicles then uh, it would not be able to uh, make it steps in for a future generation thank you thank you thank you Navya. now i would like to invite sanitya singh of 9c to share his presentation with us over to you sanitya Just a moment, just a moment, Sanindya. Mahesh, yes, ma'am. Uh, can we have the second inter somebody else as a second interjector? Yes. Because Shruti didn't turn up, so shall we have a second interjector? Ek dusre or or kisi ko bula le. Mahesh, please uh, follow. Ma'am, jo kya rahe beta? Mahesh, take out a chit, beta. Some other chit apart from Shruti's name. Shruti is other... not here, so we'll have some other child, beta. Unmute yourself. The second interjector is Khyati from class 9A. Okay. Shruti I think Shruti is entering her. Is it Shruti? Shall we give her, admit her? <laughs> but then ma'am, that will take time at least. Khyati can ask her question and that will be. Ma'am, ma now I have to ask my question. Do I have to ask it again to some other presenter? Uh, network issue today. Uh, can, we other name? can we have other name? May I try for some other name? Khyati. She called out Khyati, ma'am. Khyati from 9A. Khyati, Khyati bitte, aap question puchho, aur fir uske baad mein, Shruti ko hum kahi aur adjust karenge, na? Dubara se chit li kaal lenge. Khyati, Khyati bitte, share screen band do. Okay, okay ma'am. Good afternoon, everyone. Here I take the opportunity to ask Navya a question. Here is my question. How do you boost the amount of electricity a fuel cell system produces? Sorry, can you repeat? Yeah, sure. How do you boost the amount of electricity a fuel cell system it produces? Uh, so the amount of electricity the fuel cells produces is... Uh like very uh, good because uh, if we need to boost it we need to uh, have as much hydrogen as we want so the production of hydrogen should be good and uh, uh, oxygen should also because if in a fuel cell they both have to be uh, chemically uh, reacted to produce electricity and water so thank you 
Thank you, Navya. Now I would like to invite Sanidhar Singh of 9C to share his presentation with us. Good morning to all the judges, teachers, and all my lovely Zavarians. Today, I sign in the sing of class 9C. I will be going to tell you about hydrogen fuel and how it can be an alternative source of energy for all of us. So let's start. So first let's see that what is hydrogen and what are its basic facts? Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe as 75% of the universe is made up of hydrogen. Most of the hydrogen on earth is found in molecular form of water and organic compounds. It is the first element of the periodic table and the lightest element, which is a non-metal. It is colorless, odorless, non-toxic and highly combustible in nature. Now let's see that what is hydrogen fuel's potential in reducing greenhouse gas emissions and how it is a better fuel in comparison to other fossil fuels. Hydrogen is a zero emission burning fuel and the only byproduct which comes out of it is water vapor. It can be used in all types of vehicles, including internal combustion engine. The energy produced in 1 kg of hydrogen fuel is equals to 2.8 kg of gasoline, petrol, or any other fossil fuel. So we can conclude that it is two to three times efficient. Now we know that what is hydrogen, what are its basic facts, how it reduces the greenhouse gas emission, and how it is a better fuel in comparison to other fossil fuels. So let's check that how can we use this hydrogen as a fuel. For this process, we will need this type of arrangement as you can see in this picture. There will be a PEM, means polymer electrolyte membrane or proton exchange membrane sandwiched between the anode and cathode. There will be two more circuits along the anode and cathode. We will pass hydrogen gas through the circuit along the anode and oxygen gas through the circuit along the cathode. As anode is made up of platinum catalyst, it will get into a reaction with anode, with hydrogen and split it into positive and negative hydrogen ions. The PEM will allow the positive hydrogen ions to pass through it to the cathode. At cathode, oxygen, positive hydrogen ions and electrons will combine together to form water vapor. This water vapor can flow out of the cell or it can be recycled again. Now, we will connect a load, say bulb or motor with the help of another circuit. The negative hydrogen ions will travel through this circuit and current will be generated. Thus, hydrogen fuel cell will work. Now let's see that how can we use this hydrogen as a fuel in our automobiles. So for this, the circuit which I've shown you in the previous slide should be placed in the front or back side of the automobile as you can see in this picture right now. Instead of batteries and bulb as a load, we will have batteries which will further be connected to power electronics and electro engine which will give the automobile the energy to move. But here comes a question that if everything is so easy, why just we not do these measures and methods and why we are not using the hydrogen powered automobiles? The answer for this question is very simple. It is because there are some obstacles faced by hydrogen fuel, but majorly there are three primary obstacles, which are safety, infrastructure, and cost. Safety is not a big concern for hydrogen, but there is a lack of infrastructure, which is battery operated vehicles had a huge head start in this world. Battery power stations should be placed at every petrol pump so the batteries could be charged at regular intervals. The, the equipment required for the process of electrolysis are very costly. If hydrogen wants to become a popular source of energy for all of us, so its price should become low in comparison to other fossil fuels. If, if hydrogen will overcome all these obstacles, then no one can stop it to become a viable source of energy for us. So in the conclusion of my VPT, I want to say that there are a lot of conventional as well as non-conventional sources of energy and hydrogen fuel can be used as an alternative non-conventional source of energy. And definitely hydrogen may well prove to become the tortoise that beats the hare. That's all from my side. Thank you. It is time for interjection. The first interjector is Kushi Gupta from class 9B. Good morning, everyone. My name is Kushi Gupta and I'm an interjector from class 9B. So Sanitya, I would like to ask you that as transporting hydrogen in pressurized trunks for longer distances would be too expensive, can you suggest a cheaper method of transporting hydrogen for long distance transportation? 
yes we can transport the hydrogen fuel with the help of the pipelines which we uh, always do in our ongoing world as we transport the natural gas and it will not be a very uh, and it will not be very expensive for us also uh, so we can use the pipelines to transport hydrogen fuel thank you thank you for your answer sanidhya the second interjector is manya bhatia from class 9d Good morning, everyone. My name is Manya Bhatia of Class 9D, and today I am here as an interjector. So my question to the presenter is: Hydrogen is produced through electrolysis, and there are a lot of wasted resources after that, and only of about 40% is used. Whereas in electrical vehicles, there is a usage of about 80%. So what are you going to say about that? It's only about uses, but if you check about the other advantages of hydrogen fuel, they are very much uh, efficient. Like if we talk about the advantages of hydrogen fuel, they are uh, they provide very very much energy in only the forty percent uses. They provide very much energy uh, in comparison to electric vehicles. So uh, if we will check the advantages of hydrogen fuel, uh, we will not consider this forty percent or eighty percent uses. Then. Thank you, Sanidhya. Now. I would like to invite Vidan Bhardwaj of 9D to share his presentation with us. Over to you, Vidan. Good morning, everyone. Today, I am Vidan Bhardwaj from Class 9D. I am here to present a presentation on about how hydrogen can be considered as an alternative source of energy in the coming time. So, let us first start with some specifics. Hydrogen is the first element in the periodic table. This means that it is the first element in the universe. As a matter of fact, positive ions of hydrogen, namely protons, were the first were the first element which came after which came after first second of the Big Bang. It is the simplest possible atom composed of one proton in the nucleus, which is orbited by a single electron. Hydrogen is the lightest of the elements, having a measly atomic mass of 1.00784 U, and is the most abundant element in the universe. So, without further ado, let us come straight up to the topic: hydrogen as an ideal fuel. Hydrogen is abundant and has one of the highest calorific values. Thus, making it an ideal fuel. Its calorific value is a whopping one lakh fifty thousand kilojoules per kg. It is obvious that we should know how hydrogen is used right now before we move on to how hydrogen is going to be used in the future. So, let us ponder to the question: How is hydrogen used today? Due to its high calorific value, hydrogen is used as a rocket fuel. Well, liquid hydrogen is combined with liquid oxygen to produce a powerful explosion. This propels the rocket upwards out into space. Industrially, it is used to make ammonia for fertilizers, it refining metals, and methanol for making artificial materials like plastics. Now that we know how hydrogen is used right now, let us come to the point where hydrogen is used in the future. The most commercial and compact way to do so is the fuel cell. To be specific, the fuel cell is an electrochemical cell that converts the chemical energy of a fuel and an oxidizing agent into electricity through a, through a pair of redox reactions. This means that through catalysts, hydrogen and oxygen react with in redox reactions and produce electricity. This electricity goes through an external circuit and powers all our appliances. As we near the end of this presentation, let us revise what we have learned. Let us look at the advantages of hydrogen as an alternative fuel. First, it is renewable and readily available. It is highly efficient when compared to other energy sources. This is clear when you look at its calorific value. It reduces our carbon footprints, meaning that it reduces the amount of pollution that we cause. It has almost zero emissions, also reducing the amount of pollution. And last but not least, it will be perfect for remote regions. To conclude this presentation, I would like to say that hydrogen is an ideal fuel, but it yields many returns to us and to the environment. To be short and simple, it has almost zero emissions. This means that most of its emissions are in water, and this means that the environment level, the pollution level, won't rise. 
in the end i would just like to say that hydrogen is a major stepping stone to finding the perfect fuel and not only me but many great minds might agree now this presentation alone cannot solve all our doubts about how hydrogen can be considered as an alternative source of energy so i'd like to ask you the interjectors to present your questions to me and i would try my best to answer them thank you for your time now it is time for interjection the first interjector is tanishka arora from class 9b good morning everyone my name is tanishka arora and i'm an interjector from class 9c my question to you is hydrogen is used in a large amount in industries nowadays and the leakage chances are increasing rapidly and the detectors which can be used are costly what is a better solution for this okay tanishka i got your question and here is my answer see i know leakage is a major the problem when it comes to hydrogen and not only hydrogen it is a major problem when it comes to every type of fuel but like every other fuel it has its own solutions testings have been done to stop leakage leakage so with the with enough economics with the enough money spent to prevent leakage leakage of hydrogen it can be easy to stop that and it can be easy to make hydrogen more consumer friendly thank you thank you thank you for your answer vidant now it is time for second interjector the second interjector is aditya singh from class 9a good morning everyone my name is aditya singh and i am from class 9a my question to the presenter is name the fuels that are cheaper than hydrogen and why are they not available in the market see Aditya, I got your question, and here's my answer. There are many, many cheaper fuels than hydrogen. This is because hydrogen requires a lot, lot of cost to maintain. But there are also many of them are available in the market, and many of them are not too. Most of it's because of the de development of our country and about and of every country in the world, to be general. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Vidhan. Now I would like to invite Snigla Bhatt of Nine E to share a presentation with us. Over to you, Snigla. A very good morning to all. Today, I, Snigda Bhatt of Class Ninth E, am going to present a PowerPoint presentation on the topic "Hydrogen Fuel: An Alternative Source of Energy." Fossil fuels supply about eighty percent of the total world energy. However, these fuels are non-renewable and unsustainable, and also contribute to climate change by causing global warming. Therefore, turning to a clean energy source is essential. Hydrogen with just one proton and one electron is a colorless and odorless gas. It is the most abundant element in the universe. However, it occurs naturally on Earth only in the form of compounds, with water being its most abundant compound. Hydrogen is a clean fuel, which, when used in a fuel cell, produces only heat and water as the waste product. It is a versatile energy carrier which can help to tackle various critical energy challenges. It is considered as an alternative fuel due to its ability to power fuel cells in zero emission vehicles and its potential for high efficiency. To be able to use hydrogen as a fuel, we first need to separate it from its compounds. The two most common methods for producing hydrogen are steam methane reforming. in which methane from natural gas is heated with steam to produce a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen electrolysis in which electricity is used to decompose water into oxygen and hydrogen fuel cells uses the chemical energy of hydrogen to cleanly and efficiently produce electricity conversion of the fuel to energy takes place via an electrochemical process not combustion they work like batteries 
but do not run down or need recharging. They produce electricity and heat as long as hydrogen is supplied. The working of a hydrogen fuel cell is as follows. Each fuel cell has two electrodes, a negative anode and a positive cathode sandwiched around an electrolyte. Hydrogen is fed to the anode and oxygen is fed to the cathode. In the cell, a catalyst at the anode separates hydrogen molecules into protons and electrons, after which electrons go through an external circuit, creating a flow of electricity and protons migrate to the cathode where they unite with oxygen to produce water and heat. Hydrogen can be used to produce electricity needed for day-to-day -day needs. Small fuel cells can power laptops, computers, and even mobile phones, while larger fuel cells can provide electricity in places that are not connected to electric power grids. On top of being a very abundant element, hydrogen is an environmental friendly and a very efficient fuel. It can also be produced from various sources, which can also be found locally. Despite being abundant in nature, we need much more energy to extract hydrogen from its compounds. Also, hydrogen fuel cells need a lot of money for the complex machines and resources. The storage and transportation is also way more complex than other fuels. In conclusion, the advantages of hydrogen fuel cells as one of the best renewable energy sources are evident. However, there are still a lot of challenges to overcome to realize the full potential of hydrogen as a key enabler for a future decarbonized energy system. Thank you. Thank you, Snigda. It is time for interjection. The first interjector is Parth Sharma from Class 9D. Good morning, everyone. I am Parth Sharma from Class 9D, and I am here to ask a question from the presenter. My question to you, Snigdha, is you mentioned that hydrogen fuel helps to maintain the atmosphere clean and only release water on reacting with oxygen. But do you know how many how much carbon footprints to the production of hydrogen releases? The most efficient method of uh, production of H2, as you just told us, is steam methane reforming, and it releases a great amount of carbon monoxide. The main go goal of development of hydrogen fuel is abolishing the carbon footprint. So it means the objective of the fuel is not fulfilled. Don't you think that we should rather use battery electric vehicles, which can be equally good and even better if electricity is obtained by a non polluting source like solar energy, wind energy and so on? Thank you, Pat, for the question. Uh, hydrogen fuel for now can't be utilized as a clean uh, fuel because for now it is mostly produced by steam methane reforming as you said is very a very polluting method polluting method so that is why hydrogen fuel has uh, the methods for electrolysis which is the cleanest and the most sustainable methods is being advanced so that it can be a future fuel that is why we cannot use hydrogen as a fuel for now Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for your answer, Snigdha. The second interjector is Atharv Pandey from Class 9F. Good morning, everyone. My Myself, Atharv Pandey from Class 9F, and I am here to ask a question from Snigdha. My question is, the most convenient way of transporting hydrogen, which I see, is through pipelines. They will require maintenance, so it will be very difficult to do the work. Also, in case of any damage to the pipeline, hydrogen can escape quite easily. Hydrogen has a low combustion temperature, which means that it is highly flammable. So it, it's ne it needs to be stored with extreme precaution. So can't it create a risk for the workers dealing with it? Thank you, Atav, for the question. As we know that uh, the cost of hydrogen is very much la larger than other fuels, but we may also need to consider that how much pollution the fossil fuels cost. Although they are very costly efficient, fossil fuels are very cost efficient, they create a lot of pollution. So we can only choose one, either, either clean atmosphere 
or either money so it would be better if we use money and evolve the machinery of hydrogen production to a certain level that they can be used without uh, any dangers for the workers and the ordinary people thank you thank you snigdha now at the last i would like to invite from my other of 9a to share presentation with us over to you samya good morning everybody today i samya other will be the presenter from class 9a hydrogen fuel an alternative source of energy hydrogen is a zero carbon fuel burned with oxygen provided it is created in a zero carbon way methods of producing hydrogen it can be produced by many methods like electrochemical methods like electrolysis and photoelectrolysis thermochemical methods like partial oxidization coal gasification steam reforming biological methods like fermentation and photosynthesis There are more than 350 large scale global projects underway right now. The total investment in the hydrogen sector is an estimated amount of 500 billion dollars. Germany has announced a 7 billion euro program and the Chinese government wants to have 1 million fuel cell powered vehicles on its roads by 2030. How fuel cell works? A fuel cell is an electrochemical energy conversion conversion device it utilizes hydrogen and oxygen to generate electricity heat and water the hydrogen atoms enter at the anode the atoms are stripped of their electrons in the anode the positively charged protons pass through the membrane to the cathode and the negatively charged electrons are forced to a circuit generating electricity after passing through the circuit the electrons combine with the protons and oxygen from the air to generate the fuel cells by the dust water and heat this is another example of fuel cell stack in early 20s most hydrogen is produced by steam methane reforming of fossil gas only a small quantity is in made by alternative routes such as biomass gasification or electrolysis of water or solar thermochemistry a solar fuel with no carbon emission Since the weight of hydrogen is less than air, it rises in the atmosphere and is therefore rarely found in its pure form H2. In a flame of pure hydrogen gas burning in air, the hydrogen reacts with oxygen to form water and releases energy. Hydrogen gas has the highest calorific value, which is 150 kJ per kg. Natural gas produces Natural gas produces 48% of hydrogen, oil 30%, coal 18%, and water 4%. There are few advantages of hydrogen fuel also, like it is readily available, no harmful emissions, fuel efficient, environmentally friendly, renewable, diverse domestic sources. disadvantages of hydrogen fuel electrolysis and steam reforming the two main processes of hydrogen extraction are extremely expensive hydrogen needs to be stored under very high pressure compared to gas hydrogen lacks smell which makes any leak detection almost impossible hydrogen also presents challenges when considering moving it in large quantities which is why it's mostly only transported in small batches As discussed, hydrogen is a fuel having a high heat value and benefits of being a green fuel. Also, with increased focus of by countries across the world in research and development of extracting hydrogen, it is certain that hydrogen would be the fuel of the future. Hydrogen storage is still the major issue of concern, and a lot of work is still expected in this sector. Considering Indian economy. Switching to hydrogen will surely decrease the oil imports of nations and dependency on other nations for energy resource supplies. Can be a long-term solution and not a quick fix. Thank you. Thank you, Samya. Now it is time for interjection. The first interjector is 
श्रुति श्रीवास्तव फ्रॉम क्लास नाइन ए यस सो मै क्वेश्चन इज डू यू थिंक हाइड्रोजन फ्यूल इज अ रिन्यूएबल सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी सपोर्ट योर आंसर I think yes, hydrogen is a renewable source of energy. Like it is uh, environmentally friendly. Like if we put two percent of the uh, of the fossil fuels to give it the energy, the hydrogen will produce thrice of it. And I think it is environmentally friendly, so it's renewable. Thank you, Samya. The second interjector is Bhumika Chaudhary from Class Nine A. Good morning, everyone. Myself, Bhumika Chaudhary from Class Nine E. My question to the presenter is: Are there any disadvantages in using hydrogen as an alternative? If yes, state any two. Yes, there are a few advantages of hydrogen. Like I have discussed in my PPT presentation, also that it is readily available, it is environmentally friendly, and it is the fuel of the future. Thank you, Samya. The presentations are over. While the judges tabulate the final result, let us all enjoy a few interlude performances by fellow the variants.
that was melodious. Now I would like to invite Pretty Ma'am to share a valuable advice about today's event. First and the foremost, I'm really happy to see you all kids doing really good and talking on a, such a big topic, you know, seriously, on a very serious topic, hydrogen fuel. I'm really happy about it. Uh, very good, very good performance, my dear. But one thing, one thing I would uh, ask you to do is, children, there are some children who came up with the slides and uh, there were a lot of things on the slide. Please cut down it, make it into bullet points so that, you know, the people who are reading it, the, going through the slides, you're not the only one, we are also watching it. So keep it uh, short and crisp. That's, uh, that's, I often say, keep it short and crisp. You can explain, but don't explain too much. Chota rakho. Second thing that I want to say is uh, interjectors. Interjectors, uh, I want you to come with the questions that, uh, like I, I saw two or three interjectors came up with the same kind of question. Listen to the uh, previous interjectors. Say, kya pucha tha? Instead of saying this, uh, okay, I'm prepared with the same question. I'll ask the same question to the, the other fellow. No, please come up with something else. No, try, try to. Like the presenter is not question like whether he's prepared, you should know whether he's actually will be able to explain the content. That is up to you. So you are the one who is going to check it. So uh, go through the content, what he's explaining, what, what is she is explaining, and then put up the questions from the content, whether he's able to explain it or not. Actually, what you did is like you were prepared with few questions. And then the moment she the uh, presenter is done with the slide, you are putting up the same question, whether it is there or not. So try to next time, try to come up with the question that is there in the uh, slide. Okay, something that you find it, no, it's not there, it should not be there, or you want more explanation, ask the presenter to explain it. So this is how you have to come up. Uh, and the last, uh, it's also for the um, presenters, children, try to uh, think, what kind of questions can come from the interjector? Think, you know, predict the questions. Like the most of the questions were, why should the hydrogen fuel should be considered as a renewable source? How can you store it? How can you transport it? Same kind of questions were there. So think of something else, okay? May I question, interjector Will it be asked? So on. And overall, of course, it's a new thing for you. I know confidence matters. Be more enthusiastic. Aisa lag tha ki bas so be more enthusiastic, make it more interesting, you know, come with a smile. So many children are like missing the smile. Oh, ma'am, I'm really nervous. Come with a smile. It will make it more interactive. Very nice to be, you know, to be here. Very good. I'm really happy. Frankly speaking, I'm really happy to see you children growing like this and coming up with such wonderful things. God bless you. Thank you, ma'am. Before declaring the results, I would like to thank all those who have left no stone unturned for this event to be successful. First of all, we would like to thank Father Principal for providing us with this opportunity, Vice Principal Ma'am and Maya Ma'am for their constant support and guidance, Science Department teacher for, for their motivation and preparing the students, English Department teachers for helping the MCs. Yogesh sir for dynamic poster, Subin sir and Nilot Pal sir for the interludes, the EKA team for their technical support. I would like to extend my gratitude towards our honorable judges for taking out time today. I would all like to extend my hearty congratulations to all the participants for doing a tremendous job and making this program successful. Now it is time for the much awaited results. I would like to call upon the ma'am for declaring the results with us. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you, Jia and uh, Mehek for uh, coordinating the show uh, so wonderfully. And uh, thank you very much. And uh, now a much awaited results. Uh, I hope all of you will take care of what Pretty Ma'am suggested you. And uh, thank you, Pretty Ma'am and Rashmi City Ma'am, for giving us your valuable time every day. Thank you very much, Ma'am. Uh, we will trouble you one more day. That is tomorrow. Thank you. We would love to. And now, uh, results. Uh, first of all, I will uh, announce the results for 
interjectors. Uh, I'll start with the third position. Uh, we have a tie for the third position. Uh, we have Kushi Gupta of 9B and Kathy of 9A. Uh, both of them got third position. Uh, then second position goes to Anmol Sharma of 9C. And first position goes to 9F, Athar Pandey. Congratulations to interjectors. Uh, now for the presenter's result, we have, again, I'll start with the third position. Uh, for the third position, we have I, uh, Somya Yadav of 9F and Snigda Bhatt, they are sharing the third position. Uh, Navya of 9B got the second position and Sanadya Singh of 9C got the first position. Congratulations to the winners. Thank you very much. Uh, you all presented the show beautifully. And uh, I hope next time uh, there will be more improvement and uh, we'll get a better show. Uh, thank you, uh, Shobha ma'am, uh, Maya ma'am, everybody for uh, providing this opportunity. And uh, they are able to present the show so wonderfully. And next time, hopefully there will be more improvement from their side. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you all. Uh, Nilotpal, sir, you can end the meeting now. Thank you very much.